If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and stay informed. Addicted to Macintosh. Hi, I will show you how to make a bootable drive for an M1 Mac. It's always a good idea to have a bootable backup drive for your Mac. Sadly, the new M1 Macs don't work like the Intel versions, so making a bootable backup drive has a different procedure. Here is what to do. First, you need download Mac OS Big Sur installer. I will show you how to re-download Mac OS Big Sur installer from Mac OS Big Sur. If you need to re-download a complete Mac OS Big Sur installer application here is how to do it. First, go to Spotlight and run terminal application. Next, at terminal, type the following command or copy and paste it from the comments section. Software update, space, dash, dash, fetch, dash, full, dash, installer. Next, you will a scanning for installer message on terminal, and soon followed by a percentage indicator of the download. When finished downloading you will see install finished successfully. To find the Mac OS Big Sur installer, go to the Applications folder. Step 2. Format external hard disk. As you want to make a bootable external hard disk, you will have to format the external hard drive of your choice. To do that, go to Spotlight and type Disk Utility. At Disk Utility, make sure you choose the external drive to format to APFS mode. Please make sure you choose the intended drive, and not accidentally anything else. Step 3. Download and install Carbon Copy Cloner, and clone your internal startup disk. You may easily clone your hard disk by using Carbon Copy Cloner. The app is free for 30 days, you may find the link below at the comments section. Downloading the app is very simple, and installing it is equally easy and straightforward. There is plenty of info, in case you need some clarification. So to make a copy of your hard disk, simply run Carbon Copy Cloner, and drag the source disk at the source area, and the destination disk, at the destination area. Click on Clone and follow some instructions on how to complete installation. When you complete installation, you have nothing else to do, just wait till it's all copied. Step 4. Install Mac OS Big Sur on external drive. This is the final step. On this step you have to find the Mac OS Big Sur installer from step 1. It should be on your applications folder. Double click on the Mac OS Big Sur installer, and make sure you select the external drive as the installation target disk. This is very important, do not proceed if you are not sure you have selected the intended drive. For me, I had to choose the 2TB external SSD. Hit install, and let it install. It will take at least 30 minutes to 1 hour, so sit back and relax. Your Mac will reboot on its own, do not interfere. Let the installation complete, and at the end, your Mac will boot from the external drive. It's that simple. Hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Subscribe and stay informed. Addicted to Macintosh.